Hey, good morning or afternoon or evening, depending on when you're watching this. It's Deborah with Flipping 50 TV and I want to just point out something. So I am honestly, I'm in the middle of a fast, a five day fasting mimicking diet. I'll tell you more about that. If you'd love to learn it, just put a message down below. But when I do that, I use the week, the five days, in fact, the six, because reintroduction is important that you eat fairly slowly kind of coming back off the flu. You've just eaten lightly. You got to let your body get used to eating harder to digest foods again. So, and definitely I'm not eating nothing. I promise you, I can't do that. Don't do that. It's just a reduced caloric intake, definitely all plant, very low protein. It's scientifically based and that's what I'm doing. But when I do it, um, noticeably, I don't necessarily have less energy, but I don't pour it all into a workout. I do long, harder workouts for sure. I don't even do my norm, but I will cut back. So every day I'll do 20 minutes of something. So Monday, when I still had lots of energy, I did a short interval training. Tuesday, I did a short strength training workout. Wednesday, I did, um, again, an easy kind of interval training on the bike. Today, I just took Truman for a walk. So what I want to point out is this. So this is my blood flow restriction bands, right? And they're kind of the hidden secret, literally, right? Because so they're under my shorts, nobody else knew it. I'm taking them off right now because we just walked for about 20 minutes. Truman is 12, so anyway. You get the picture. I'm pulling him, right? Because he knows where home is. Sorry about that hand, but I'm switching hand so that I can get the other one off. They're just Velcroed. It's really easy to take off, but you want to wear them on your major muscle groups on the lower body for about 20 minutes, no more. If you're wearing them on your upper body, as I do if I were doing a strength training workout or maybe doing something like uh, boxing with my upper body or doing elliptical where I'm pushing and pulling, I would wear them for about 15 minutes and then take them off. Here's the why. Really what I'm doing with fasting is tricking my body into, cause I'm eating while I'm doing it. I'm tricking my body into thinking I'm fasting and that makes your body do automatic cellular cleanup. It's called autophagy and it's got an anti-aging and a longevity property that we all love. So it's great for your skin, it's great for your gut. Sorry about the overhead, the helicopters didn't ask if they should come now. <laughs> but it's also great for reducing your risk of heart disease and cancer. So it's kind of superficial, you get a two for one, right? Now and later, you've got lots of benefits. And for a lot of people, it helps to decrease belly fat and get a jump start on just feeling better, kind of cleaner. And when you come back in after a fast like this, you really are be becoming so much more aware of all the times you eat when really I wasn't hungry, really all the times you eat because you're working near the kitchen or the refrigerator and there are things available and just tempting you. And when you eat more than you actually need, and it feels so good not to, and your sleep improves. So a lot of people will think mistakenly that, oh my gosh, if I was fasting, I would be so hungry, I would stay awake all night, I wouldn't be able to sleep, I would be cranky, and the opposite is true. When you look at reports of what people report happened to them, they slept better and deeper, maybe longer, they felt more refreshed when they woke up, they have better digestion elimination, their stomach is a little bit flatter, and when they come off of it, they're so much more in tune to what they need and what they don't. And much more conscious of eating healthfully when they do make choices to re-enter. So with a blood flow resistance bands, that's the name, what I'm doing is tricking my body into thinking that I'm working harder. So by restricting blood flow, literally it's the venous blood flow coming back in, my muscles think that I'm really reaching fatigue, like I'm doing high intensity work, but I just took Truman, a 12 year old, out for a walk. I'm pulling a lot, okay, he's not pulling me anymore. I'm pulling him a lot, thinking one more corner, buddy, we gotta turn it and I'm bribing him. That's painting the picture for you. So it's definitely not hard, but I feel like I've done a little bit more because of it. And is it instantaneous? Am I seeing, oh, tons of muscle definition? No, it's not like that. But if you do that repeatedly, and I'm having our Flipping 50 membership um, 
do them in one of our stronger workouts. So many of you know we have stronger one, two, three, and four. And two, three, and four are actually behind the doors in our membership only. And we're using week four, we're using the blood flow restriction bands to do lighter weight, to do a better recovery because it's one of the number one most forgotten and ignored features of working out after 40. We need more recovery. And that doesn't mean you're delicate. Whoops, it was a bug, okay? <laughs> doesn't mean you're delicate. And it's not an insult to injury because you're older. It actually means you'll be better, you'll be in greater fitness if you take the recovery you need. So you shouldn't be sore, you shouldn't be fatigued, you shouldn't be tired after your workouts or when you're going into your next one, the next hard one, you should be fully recovered. And these can help. So for those of us, especially who love to work out, I love to do it hard. I want to go hard. Our body doesn't always want to cooperate between the ears is one thing below the belt, below the shoulders is another. And if you're still sore, your muscles haven't repaired and you can't build up your muscle and therefore you can't build up your metabolism. All these details, super important. So just last night, with our Flipping 50 community members, I did a live masterclass about fasting after 50. What's the truth? What's the science for after 50, especially women in menopause and intervals or exercise after 50? What if we combine them as we do because we all like our cake and eat it too? Personally, I like the frosting. Another story. But if we combine them, we may actually negate the results from both fasting and from strength training. So there's a better plan and a better way to do it. And then it also depends on you and your muscle fiber type predominance. So we all have fast twitch fibers. We all have slow twitch fibers. We have intermediate fibers, but we have a predominance of either fast or slow. And that's something that dictates to you what kind of exercise and what kind of recovery will get you in the best shape. And if you're not sure, reach out to me because this week until Monday is a perfect time to do it. If you thought about coaching, you'd love to do coaching. It's just feeling like, ah, it's not the right time. I know it's never the right time, right? But, and again, a helicopter coming back, evidently just trying to watch over you, sister. But right now I'm doing a 25% off coaching. I never do that. And it's right before we're raising our rates. So. If you want in, I want to make it possible for everybody who wants to, who's dreamed about it and thought, no, I can't do that. So you can make it possible. And I'd love to work with you. I'll put the link down below, but you've got to hurry. It's over on Monday. All right. So there you go. Blood flow restriction bands for lighter exercise that feels like more work to your muscles and fasting. Both proven to be effective, but not necessarily together. And I'll see you on the flip side.